Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, we are talking about the importance of having portable solar panels, especially when you're camping in a setting like this. So I like to spend my summers up in Northern Arizona, whether that's Prescott, Flagstaff, or Payson, and it still gets really hot in the summer. I mean, sometimes we can experience, you know, 90 to 100 degree days, even in Flagstaff at the highest elevation. Therefore, it's important, especially as a dog mom, to have shade for my van and shade for Winston and I to hang out, but also enough sun for your solar. So I have heard a lot of van lifers talk about how they want to adhere solar to their van. The only problem with that is when you have solar attached to your van, you have to park your van where the sun is. Portable solar panels give you the option to park in the shade but move your solar. So I'm going to show you uh, what my panels look like and how I use them to get the optimi uh, optim optimal sun <laughs> when I need it, even in a forested shady environment. As you can see with my current camp spot, I have plenty of shade and plenty of sun, but as the sun moves from the east to the west, it affects the solar. Now I have three portable power stations. One is a Jackery 240, one is a Rock Pals 300, one is a Blue Eddy 800. So, I currently have my panels set up here in the sun and I just have my Jackery plugged into my Jackery right now and then my Rock Pals 100 solar panel goes through my driver's seat right now and it's plugged into my Blue Eddy on the floor. So I can move the solar panels with the sun and just thread them through my van as necessary or since obviously the Jackery is portable well all my all my power stations are portable I can pick it up and move it to wherever I need to move it that's the beauty about having portable power stations along with your portable solar panels now as I was saying with my Blue Eddy it sits on my passenger side floor so I just have my solar panel coming through my driver's side door and plugged in. Then when the sun moves, I'll just put it on the ground over here and slide the cord through my passenger side or, uh, door. So you have lots of different options. And then it also saves my roof so I can continue keeping my awning and my rooftop box on my van without having to adhere the panels. Now the other thing that's nice about the portable solar like these the trifold ones so the jackery this is the 68 or the 60 watt jackery panel you know it folds right up but i see some people even like hang it from your van in the sun so so i've seen people um use that method as well since it completely folds down flat as you can see now, I much prefer the Jackery panel over the Rock Pals. I feel like the Rock Pals, um, this is the 100, I feel like it's a lot more flimsy. The Jackery is just higher quality in my opinion. But what I like about the Rock Pals solar panel is it comes with the connectors for the Jackery, Rock Pals, and Blue Eddy. So there's going to be pros and cons to whatever you decide to purchase. Another nice perk of having the portable solar panels is like the Jackery and the Rock Pals have plugs built into them so you can literally plug your devices directly into the solar panel instead of having to use your portable power station. So that's a really nice um, benefit. Let's see if you can see it in there, it's too dark, but that's a nice benefit of using these as well. They're just so multi-purpose and versatile. And they're thin, they fold down flat with handles, so they're lightweight and easy to move around. What I love about the portable solar panels is I never have to worry about parking my van in the sun to get the solar I need to power my devices. It's just so excellent because I can enjoy the shade and the sun and just move my solar panels and my portable power stations throughout my camp spot 
as I need to and as I see fit. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Winston and I will see you on our next adventure.